I, uh, we have just approved a major disaster declaration of, for Hawaii, which will get aid into the hands of the people desperate and desperately needing help now. They've lost, uh, anyone who's lost a loved one whose home has been damaged or destroyed is going to get help immediately. And I've directed that we assert support to these brave firefighters and first responders and emergency personnel working around the clock there, risking their lives. I just got off the phone before I got here for a long conversation with Governor Josh Green this morning. Let him know I'm going to make sure the state has everything it needs from the federal government to recover. The FEMA Administrator Griswell will be in Miami tomorrow, in Maui tomorrow, and I've directed her to uh, streamline any process with requests for help and survivors registered for immediate federal assistance without delay. FEMA is surging disaster assistance personnel on the island, and they're going to help survivors get access to federal assistance. And, 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 and you know, anybody who wants to know out there where to go if this is televised, that they can go to disasterassistance.gov, disasterassistance.gov, to learn if you're eligible for assistance. And I've ordered all available federal assets on the island, including the U.S. Coast Guard, the Navy Third Fleet, and the U.S. Army, to assist local emergency response crews, through the, along with the Hawaiian National Guard. We're working as quickly as possible to fight these fires and evacuate residents and tourists. In the meantime, our prayers with the people of Hawaii, but not just our prayers. Every asset we have will be available to them, and we've seen they've seen their homes, their business destroyed, and some have lost loved ones, and it's not over yet.